Hi there. In this short video, I'll be showing with you a brief update to the Numisma CIS and bookkeeping modules. Now, both modules are now linked so that whenever you raise an invoice in one or the other systems, it will populate it in the other. So all of your invoices for subcontractors will be linked between bookkeeping and the relevant CIS contractor. Um, and subcontractor details will also be uh, linked. So to do this, what you'll need is an active bookkeeping profile and you'll need an active CIS profile. And once you have a bookkeeping profile, uh, you'll need to link the CIS profile with it. So I'll just go into Burns here and you can see I've got bookkeeping, final accounts, payroll and CIS. Now, currently, the CIS is showing as individual CIS, so it's not linked. And I know that because if I go into the bookkeeping profile, I do not have an option for CIS on the left menu at the moment. Okay, so if I go into the CIS profile, and then in the top right-hand corner, you'll see this link with payroll button. You would then be able to select the payroll that it needs to be linked with. And by linking it with the payroll, it will also link it with the bookkeeping. So now when I refresh here and just search Burns again, it's now recognizing that it's a limited company because it's linked with that payroll. And if I go into bookkeeping, I should see CIS on the left menu. There you go. So if I close the CIS module and open it from the left menu, now it will take me directly to Burns Construction Limited. Yep. So right now at this moment in time, I've got no active subcontractors here. So I'm just going to go ahead and add a subcontractor. Uh, we could call it Homer. And then enter some more details. verification number and then we'll go for verified now if you haven't already verified it with hmrc you could go ahead at this point and submit the verification which will then return a verification number and the status and um, that will use your hmrc credentials but i'm just going to go ahead and submit that so the new supply has been added successfully and now I can begin raising invoices for them. So what I'll just do is go into back to the bookkeeping, select expenditure, and we'll have a look at our supplier list. So there, there it is. Homer Simpson has been added, which is exactly what I wanted. And going back to the CIS module, we'll now select new and then new invoice. So it's taking me to the invoice page. I'll select the supplier as Homer Simpson. And then you can see the common category at the top here is labor and materials, because that is the, the common ones for subcontractors. So we go part labor, part materials. And then we'll save that. Okay, so. Um, in terms of the period, that's added it as the 15th of July. So I would need it in the period ending the 5th of February 2020 in order to show in the CIS module. But let's just go to expenditure and make sure it has added that sales invoice that I created in as a, sorry, subcontractor bill in as a subcontractor bill. And as you can see here, it has and it's correctly deducted the £200 worth of CIS from the amount due. Okay, so now in order to add it into the period that it's expecting for CIS, I'll just go ahead and add an accounting period. I'll add one more and then I'll go ahead and I'll add a uh, subcontractor bill for the 1st of February 2020 from bookkeeping.
So if you want to add the invoice to CIS, what you'll need to select is the new subcontractor bill rather than the new supplier bill. So that's really important. You can also use the new subcontractor bill batch uh, if you want to enter them in, in bulk. Okay, so enter Home Simpson. Uh, this time we'll go for the 1st of February, 2020. And then we'll go materials, labor. And then save. So now if I change the date range to 2020, I should be able to see both of those subcontractor bills. Yep. And the amount due is both correct. And now if I refresh this, we can see there uh, an invoice has been added and the source of that invoice is bookkeeping. So it will keep track as to whether it was added in bookkeeping or if it was added in CIS. So this really reduces the duplication of data and entering it into multiple places. And uh, it just streamlines your process a little bit. I hope you found this useful. If you do have any questions or any queries or any suggestions for us, please do let us know. You can let us know via support at namisma.co.uk or give us a call on 020 3021 2326. We're more than happy to take your feedback on board. All right. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye.